Okay, so now the pinion has finally decided to come uh, to come off. Then uh, there's a Woodruff key that the uh, pinion sits on, and uh, we'll see if we can persuade that to come out. It's finally uh, come out, but uh, that will obviously need a new Woodruff key. I've damaged that getting it out, but uh, it's out. Okay, so that should allow us to then get rid of that horrible three-sided. That was that's the problem. It's just three-sided spacer. There's that. Then there's a dish spacer behind and that's the one that might not come off because it tends to be sort of like glued to the bearing with oil let's see if i can put, I'll put both my magnets on it no i don't want to come off it's fine it can just sit there it's got like a hydraulic lock on it you know it can uh, just take it off when we, uh, when the, we split the crankcases, the bearing will come off. Anyway, that's fine. We don't need to take that off. So that's great. And so now I'm, we're ready to take the crankcases out of the engine cradle, get it on the bench, and then we'll split the, uh, we'll actually split the crankcases and get the crankshaft out. Right, uh, all we need to do now is there's these uh, two bolts. Uh, this one, which is already undone. There you go, that was easy. So there's now one bolt that goes through the uh, engine cases. And I'm going to undo that. I'll just do it on off camera because uh, I'm being lazy. And uh, then I'll lift the crank cases out from there and then just put the engine or crank cases on the on the bench okay uh, there we go we've got the uh, crank cases on the bench we're just about to split them apart but before we do that um, there's a couple of little accessories we're going to take off we're going to take off the oil feed and uh, return point uh, and uh, The way to remember these, by the way, is um, the sort of opposite. So the outside one goes in and the inside one comes out. That's the way to remember the feed. Outer one, oil goes in. Inner one, oil comes back out. Wait. So those are the oil feed pipes gone. And then I'm going to take off the uh, taco drive from the camshaft. And I'm doing these, by the way, because um, things are it's just um, uh, a bit easier to take things off like this when uh, the engine's uh, you know, in one piece because you get a bit more grip, a bit more weight behind things. Okay, let's see if we can get these uh, screws off. I've put um, a bit, a screw bit in the impact driver, so I'm hoping that that will work okay. Yeah, that's one, one out. And that's the other. I have got the old hand impact driver. You know, you hit, you put the bit in and hit the end with a hammer or a lump hammer, uh, and that's great. But it's so much easier with a uh, electric one. So whenever I can, I use that. So I can encourage the taco to let go there it goes 
Whew. Right, so that's the taco drive out. Okay. And I think that's everything off that I want to get off the cases. Yeah, for now. So what I'm going to do now is go round and remove the remaining crankcase bolts. Making doubly sure that they're all out. But we're going to remove all the uh, all the various bolts. Nuts and bolts. Um, let's see if you can see from here. So there's one. There's a screw one here in the middle that a lot of people forget. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Another one. Yeah, and another one there. So we've got two screws. Okay, they're not. Uh, they're not hex. They're so set screws of some description and they need to come out don't forget about those so i'm going to go around i'm going to take those um those out okay so i've gone i've taken all the crankcase bolts and out including the screws at the bottom and i've checked and i've checked triple checked that they're all gone as i say what i normally do is count up that i've got them all but as some are already taken out i can't do that so I've just gone round and I keep checking and checking and checking, treble checking, treble checking that there's no crown case bolts. We haven't got one in the timing case, no. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my patent method for splitting crank cases. Uh, just don't tell anyone you saw me do this. Okay, so I'm working on the timing side and then I have a special drift. In this case, known as a rather large screwdriver. And what I do is I very carefully insert that between one of the uh, flanges of the uh, crankshaft and the inside of the crank case. Then I very gently tap my special drift, otherwise known as a large screwdriver. And lo and behold, there. Cases start coming off straight away. <laughs> there we have a pair of split crank cases everything looking good okay so we've got the uh, timing case off there uh, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull the camshaft out make a note of any uh, spaces we've got or anything Let's have a look. Yeah, so we've got a spacer on the in the timing case, and I've got the convex side facing the camshaft, and the flat side facing the casing. So very important to remember that. Okay, I think different camshafts they have different spacing in that, so different spaces in one thing or another. So uh, it's important to know which. Uh, which one yours is so all we've got to do now is get the uh, timing uh, the drive side 
uh, casing off the crankshaft. Just put that out of the way. So a quick look, very quick look. All looks really well on that camshaft. Good, except for that uh, sheared off, uh, sheared off bolt down the down inside. But I'm pretty sure we can get that out. Right, let me see. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> this one to come. This one to come straight off. <laughs> and there it comes off because we've got. A, I'll tell you why we've got a two-part bearing, of course. Yeah. Now I'll take the Woodruff key out of the crankshaft to stay with. So we're getting lost, and there we have the crankshaft. We've got the two crank cases. Yeah. And we've got the crankshaft. Actually feels pretty good. They feel pretty good, the uh, the big ends feel pretty good. The mains look okay, you know, there's nothing uh, untoward in there. So uh, we'll come back to this. But I'll, you know, I'll clean it all up now first, and then we'll come back and we'll take the uh, con rods off, the big ends off. And uh, and then see what's what with the crankshaft. But before I do anything else, just going to clear everything up, right? Because we've got the crankshaft out, crankcase is split, so we're just about just about there on taking the engine apart. 